MMAfighting.com in Dublin, Ireland. We took to the streets of the nation's capital to ask the people about their favourite fighting son, Conor McGregor, and his upcoming clash with Khabib Nurmagomedov at UFC 229. Enjoy. Yeah. We haven't seen Conor McGregor in two years. Is it going to be the best version of Conor McGregor we see when they finally take to the octagon? Well, hopefully it is, you know. It could be a bit of ring rust there because he's been out for two years. I think the fight with Floyd Mayweather also, he was doing mostly boxing training for that. So let's hope that he's got his wrestling on point because it could be a tricky night for him, I think. Uh, I hope so. I hope so, yeah. It's, it's actually, it was a long wait to, for here, actually, for everybody to, to, to see him, to come back to the, to the, to the cage. So, yeah, that might be interesting, like, you know. I, I really, really see forward to, to see that fight, you know. Especially that he had, uh, you know, lots of money recently. He really will step back, enjoy the life. So we will see how how it's gonna ha what's gonna happen. You know? The thing is, like, if we start up, like, we we'll start and you're on your feet. Some of Khabib wrestling on that, he has to get Conor down, like you know. Uh, so like, Conor starts landing punch and it's, he's on the granite chain and all sort of stuff. But like, I fancy Conor, like, because it has to. The, the fighters like start off standing up, so. Although they're talking about the style match and stuff like that, and Chad Mendes, they kind of exposed that a little bit. Connor still dealt with it. People are saying, oh, he exposed him, but he still dealt with it. Like, Connor still came out with the win. Jeez, yeah. well, he has been out of practice for two years. Then again, there was that incident in New York, so has he really been out of practice? But I, th I do think he's fighting Irish, so I do think he has a strong chance in this match. So? But he's been training, he's still been training, so he has a good chance, I think. But. Khabib's good as well, so I'm not too sure. Will he be the best Conor McGregor you've seen on October 6th, do you think? <coughs> no, I, don't, I wouldn't say so. Khabib is a strong fighter, I have to say that. I give him an edge over Conor for, for now, but I feel Conor can give us a good fight. What do you think? Actually, they made me come in, I have a clue who this is. <laughs> <laughs> what does this do for Conor if he has his hand raised here? I mean, does it put him in among the greatest fighters of all time in MMA? I'd definitely say so, considering I'd say this is his biggest challenge altogether because Khabib, he's this big figure. Like people don't really can't really see him getting beaten, but uh, I think McGregor can do it, and that it would make him all-time great. What do you think of them both, and and the way he talks and his braggadocious kind of nature? It does get a little too much. What worries I mean, me a little bit is the <laughs> reputation internationally. Like people come to Ireland thinking, oh, like Conor McGregor, am I going to see him? Like all this and that. I'm like, <laughs> he gets in there October. I think, he, I think he catches Khabib. I think he catches Khabib coming in for the takedown. But if Khabib gets the takedown, I think he's fucked. Like I think there's a chance that Khabib could just dominate him. But no, I think Conor knocks him out first. What do you think? Uh, I think the first round Khabib will just take him down and kind of play with him, but then the second or third round Connor will catch him and then he'll be up. So both of you guys, right? You probably heard about the incident where Connor <laughs> threw a, a dolly at a bus and it caused a lot of controversy in Ireland. Yeah. How did you guys feel about that? Did, he, did it lower your estimation of Connor when you heard that news? <laughs> no, to be honest, I thought he's a bit of a gangster anyway. So he was just uh, trying to live up to the. I don't know, the character I suppose, yeah. It was all a bit of a show, like I thought it was a bit embarrassing really. Babe, what do you think? Did oh you god, I haven't a clue. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I don't know, I don't know, I see it. I was like, I'm stunning yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, like it's, it's cool. <laughs> yeah, I was like, ah. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, finally, who do you think is going to win the fight? So, Khabib or Connor? We're going to need a prediction off you as well, Khabib. I'm going to say Connor. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to say Connor. I'm not his biggest fan, but I think he's just... Khabib versus Connor. Yeah, it's hard. The odds are against Connor. Um, and I think that has more to do with Khabib's record than it has to do. I think that's numbers rather than people actually appreciating Connor's style and skill. I think Khabib's a big wrestler, isn't he? He's like a sambo kind of dude. Um, Connor's lost three times, but they, they were all by submission. At least two of them were by submission. So three of them were. Three, yeah, yeah. So that's kind of his Achilles heel. But he managed to stay on his feet for just about 25 minutes against Diaz the second time. So I think he's kind of improved his his takedown defense and his ability to kind of stay on his feet and stay boxing against a wrestler, so I think that's going to be hugely advantageous for him. Yeah, I don't know. I couldn't call it, to be honest. I'm going to put my money on Connor, but I couldn't call it. Um, I want to say McGregor, but Khabib, like I said, will give him a run for his money. I think Khabib is him with a chance as well. Your heart says McGregor, yeah. your head says Khabib kind of situation. To a degree, yeah, absolutely. He's a beast. Like, you know, he is. Um, yeah. That's all from us here in Dublin. Be sure to check out MMAfighting.com for all your latest MMA and UFC 229 news. Thanks very much.